up these things, Kenzie Redshaw here, and it's time for some more E3 coverage. We're about five minutes away from Microsoft going live, so it's time to get everything else set up. This is going to be a good one. Take notes, EA. This is how you're meant to do a press conference. I'm going to get my good Esquire online. And I have my beverages and snacks sorted. Oh, come on. Why are you being so slow? Why are you being so slow? Of all the times to be slow, this is not the time. So here we go, we are just over a minute away now. Right, so um yeah, so I couldn't get you I couldn't get you on the desktop for some reason, so I'm having to use my phone instead. But there's also more to it. But one advantage is that I've got my phone right next to the microphone that I'm using. So, yeah. So, a couple of things. Oh, right. So, a couple of things. You might need to make it quick because we've got about 60 seconds before the E3 conference gets underway. Right. Is that. No, hang on there. Oh, that sounds much better. Just moments away from the Xbox One. Right, so, Fraser. Yeah. We're going to talk to you any moment. Any last, like, hopes and dreams, questions? Fusion Frenzy. Fusion Frenzy. Um, I want to come back. Yeah. I always joke about it because I love that game as a kid. And I still so, have it. I still have it. And it's backwards compatible. So, so when Forza comes game. around, I think we could. Uh, yeah. I'm going to be playing. Be, I'm going to be playing this song through it, my phone. It'll be Forza Motorsport 8. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait, you know, oh yeah. <laughs> oh, and by the way, folks, if you've got Xbox Game Pass, I highly recommend Forza Horizon 4, the best Forza game in the entire franchise, including the main entry. And so here we go! It's conference time. Let's go. Seven, Ten. six, five, four. Three, two, two, one. Red team score. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Whatever. Get on with it. Right. So anyway, I'm using the mixer stream. Just a heads up. As am I. Well, I'm hey. Watching, I'm watching the mixer stream on my Xbox. But I've got the GameSpot stream on my laptop for the sake of my reactions. Alright. Okay. Okay, I like the music choice right out the gate. Um, again, speaking of music choice... Again, EA, take notes, this is how it's meant to be done! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Never! I will never leave it alone! Oh, wait. Oh. Oh, wait, never mind. I actually thought. No, I actually remembered. Ah, that's a great opening reel. Using. Hello. What do we have here? I'm guessing beyond good and evil. No, they'll be saving that for Ubisoft tomorrow night. This is Halcyon, the furthest colony in the galaxy. Proudly owned and operated by corporations. Bella Bay. Everything we have. What could this be? Everything we are. Could be Cartoon DLC? Guessing? That's actually a good shout. That is a good shout. No one has ever gone against them. A stranger has just arrived. Someone who's challenging the 
corporate board. Someone who's digging up their secrets. Borderlands? Jessic? Someone who could be That's another possibility. Borderlands 3. Or a hero. Looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you. Very Borderlands. It serves you better than it did me. Or a psychopath. Oh. Ooh, that's nasty. Oh, it's gonna. Oh, it's one. Of, oh, it's a. It's one of the first exclusives for the day. Play with Xbox Game Pass at launch. Bullseye. What's up? No matter who this stranger chooses to be, the Halcyon Colony will never be the same. Halcyon Colony. Obsidian Entertainment. Those guys, those guys made this. They are. Uh, they also made the Stegosaurus and the Frontier Puzzle. Oh yeah, the South Park game, the Outer World. So that's the name of the game. Uh, October twenty fifth. Excellent. Our first exclusive of the day, Outer World, October twenty fifth. Please welcome from Ninja Theory. Ronnie Tucker and Dom Matthews. Ninja Theory, eh? What do they have in store? What does Ninja Theory have in store? At E3 2018, we're uh, trying to keep pace with Sony, eh? A move that has given us an incredible boost in achieving the creative ambition of our Well, let's put it this way, team. We've started work on this is going to be interesting to see what happens. Are, are Microsoft going to we'll take a more casual approach, or are they still going to go all out? When we joined Xbox Studios, we already had a very... They would most, they would, they would most likely be taking advantage of Sony absence at E3. To share this with you. So we're going all out, then. As creative director, I'm stoked to be here to share our new game with you guys. It combines two of my gaming passions, third-person action combat and competitive team player. Hmm. Our technical alpha is kicking off in just a couple of weeks, and we'd love for you to sign up, get involved, and tell us what you think. Or if you're here at E3, come and join us for a game. I really, <laughs> I really hope you guys like it. Check it out. Bleeding Edge. It's Bleeding Edge. Ooh, goody. Bleeding Edge. I like the sound of it. I like the sound of it. It definitely looks like it's got the. It, it definitely looks like it's got the visual style of Borderlands. Uh huh. Well, is it just me, or is it, or is it very familiar to Apex? It won't be like Apex Legends. Because Apex Legends is a Battle Royale game. Yeah, no, this is 4v4. Yeah. So this will be your basic online, this will be your standard online multiplayer. But third person shooter, a la Gears of War. <coughs> Call my director for Devil May Cry, okay. Technical Alpha June 27th. Okay. And you can play it with Game Pass at launch. That I can get behind. So no release date for Bleeding Edge just yet. Probably a 2020 release date. Is this Ori? Is this Ori? Please be Ori! Ori is Ori. Yay! Are we finally going to get a release date? Guys, it's gonna take something back. The only thing that can realistically solve it is this. I know, I know. Oh my, big evil spider! 
So we have more gameplay now. Excellent. Thanks for Game Pass at launch. I'm not going to use Game Pass. I'm going to buy the game. Oh, by the way, Fraser. Oh my word, this looks amazing. At least, Fraser, seriously. Fraser, seriously. Oh. Minecraft something. Get cold candy. Minecraft dungeon. Okay. Spring 2020. Okay. <laughs> Full play on local and on Here we go. Okay. Please welcome the head of Xbox. The main man has arrived! What does he have in store? Ah, uh, good old Phil Spencer. They may as well call him the king of Xbox at this point. Now people are predicting what kind of shirt Phil Spencer would be wearing this year. Can you make out what logo that is? Probably Psycho Molts related. We on Team Xbox live for this exact moment. The moment we get to share the best of our art form here with you in LA. And the moment you get to experience breathtaking new stories, new worlds, and new heroes for the very first time. This moment isn't just about finding some new games. It's about discovering your new game. Ooh. This decisive moment of discovery is etched in your gaming history. Alongside your every achievement, your every moment, your every new friend. This is why we on Team Xbox are always and will be dedicated to unleashing the next new games for you to discover. Okay. And love. Okay. So whether you're one of the thousands with us here in Microsoft Theater... Two seconds. Woohoo! ...or one of the billions around the world who play games, welcome to E3 2019. Yes, Phil Spencer! This is how it's done! This right now is the single most creative and energizing time in gaming history. Games and gamers together now have the sheer magnitude to be a significant unifying force for the world. Okay. The expanding universe of gaming has opened a new era of creative possibility. With more games, more creators, and more industry players than ever before. 
And okay. gamers were everywhere. In under two decades, the number of players in the world has more than tripled. Over two billion of us now play games in every region and on every continent. That's almost a third of and the entire the world's population. We get to play whatever we want, with whomever we want, and wherever we want. Xbox play anywhere. On Team Xbox, every decision is guided by our belief that gaming is for everyone. My team and I are single-minded in our resolve to bring everyone the games they want, to connect everyone to play with the friends they want, and to empower everyone to play wherever they want. This is why we keep innovating hardware and services. It's why we're uniting communities through crossplay, and why it's why we're investing with new distinctive creators. Above all, gaming is for you. This is why we scour the more. world yeah, for great. your next new game. This today is the largest showcase of games on any stage anywhere this year. So Xbox has so Phil Spencer confirmed this will be the longest conference today, of anyone this year. Okay. Games in development across Xbox One and Windows PC. We're highlighting 60 games for you. Including 14 games from game studios. That's a juicy lineup. 30 games premiering in Xbox Game Pass. <laughs> Gimme, 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 gimme. Over the show, we'll also announce what's next at Xbox Game Studios. Okay. Sharing our expansive plans for streaming, and of course, revealing more about our next new console. Nice. So thank you for joining us today. Let's jump in. See, Dave. Hardly. I don't think that's even close to see if these. No, that's Star Wars. That's Jedi Fallen Order. I knew the music sounded familiar. Oh my word, he's trying to take down an AT-AT walker. Have you not seen... it for 10 minutes well. Hey, who are you? <laughs> don't screw this one up, EA. Razor, they always do. It's EA we're talking about. Wouldn't expect anything less. Razor, the truth hurts. <laughs> and yet EA still refused to listen to anyone but themselves. And their bank balances. Additional let's, content. Well, let's see how... Go on, Jedi. Ding! Only available. Only... Well, let's see how big their bank balances will be once loot boxes get banned. Oh wait, that's already happened in Belgium. Exactly. Only a matter of time before it happens worldwide. So it's November this game's coming out. Okay. But, um, spoiler alert, NOT INTERESTED! Not doing that again. November Monsieur, 16th. Uh, act like quite the narcissist. World premiere. That's what I expect when it comes to EA. Well, let's put it this way, that's a month before episode 9 comes out, Rise of Skywalker. You're telling me I'm supposed to be surprised by that? That that's that's marketing for you. That's marketing for you. What the? What was it? Hold up a second. Is that Fraser. a new Resident Fraser. Evil game? Fraser, wait a minute. Oh, Is that going to be a new Resident Evil game? Peter Shannon, September 1996. Isn't that? Okay, boy. 
Let's find this kid. Wait up, boy. Yeah, I'm going to be Resident Evil. But this this game has my interest. Whoa! I don't think that it is uh, Resident Evil. No, it's, it, it's not. It's not Resident Evil. Whoa! What on earth? <laughs> See, we're right back to the start of the show. What on earth? Why? Silent Hell Remastered. No freaking way. Are you serious? I'm calling. I'm calling it right now. Oh, it's Blair Witch. Oh, a game, game. a game based on the Blair Witch Project. Yep. August thirtieth. Okay. Not what I expected, but I'll take it. Oh, Cyberpunk! Here we go. Cyberpunk 2077. Here we go. Looks like we're gonna get some gameplay. I don't... Or oh, is it just going to be a cutscene? It's going... It's probably... Probably... Uh, probably oh, oh. It's going to be a CG cut... Oh, hello. What are you doing? CG trailer. Okay, come on in. Be my man. You made it. You blowing up all over the news. Are you alone? I just want the money. You got the chip? All right. Start her up, bug. Why don't you go to the bathroom, wash up, we gonna be with you in a minute. Oh, come on, man. Your neck, it's a mess. He does have a point. DSX. No, this be DSX. No, James, this is Cyberpunk 2077. It's CD Projekt Red. Same guys who did The Witcher 3. 2015 game of the year. Yep. Alright, in and out. Jack! 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 This is this is how we James, not Metal Gear Solid. Yes, I know. I just had to throw in that joke, just Yeah, 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 whatever. Just think about all the good that we're gonna have, huh? Hey, I'm a blogger. What do you expect? And he's gone. No tell, no tell. I oh! Okay. Right. Up, samurai. We have a 
city to burn. He was also Neo in the Matrix. Ah. Yeah. Among oh, among many other roles he's done. Good to see you. Thank you. Alright. Okay. I'm all bold with this game. I gotta talk to you about something. Sean <laughs> right. Channel, spill the beans. Spill the beans. C D Project Red. Yeah! <laughs> Cyberpunk 2077. Is he gonna give us a release date? Or are they keeping that one in the dark? The guys from Cyberpunk Project Red approached me and asked me to be a part of their new project. Cyberpunk. Oh, I see why you did that. You know what? They were going on and on. That mashed potato and gravy was blooming divine. Branching storyline. I had to I had to stay with a peanut butter sandwich because I, I needed to make something quick before then the conference started. I'll get so, I'll get something proper to eat before Bethesda's conference. So I've got I've got salmon steak, I have chicken, I have fish, I have glorious potatoes, and of course veg as well. So yeah, I'm pretty much sorted. Where body modification has become an obsession. He play as an outlaw. An enhanced mercenary working in the sleazy underbelly of the city. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love the fact that fans are on board already. This is brilliant. Walking the streets of the future is really going to be breathtaking. What's the release date? Then check this out. Ready now? Excellent, you try. Okay, this is the release date. Whoa, hey, easy. Mr. Hansen, am I right for the job? Okay, I'm in. You have gone through to the other side. Now let's do this. April 16th, 2020. Okay! So we got another release date. Fantastic. Looks like next year's gonna, looks like next year's gonna be another stellar light, stellar, uh, year for games. Ooh, hello. This looks like an indie game. Oh my! Oh my word! I like the art style. I I do like the art style of this game. Oh my word! That is so freaking adorable. <laughs> The music's got like an oriental feel to it. Learn how to say goodbye. Oh man. Oh my word. So it's gonna be one of those games, huh? What's the title though? Give us the title. That's all I wanna know. Spirit Farah. Spirit Farah. Okay. Oh. 
I do, I do like the look of that game. Battle Toads, here we go! Oh yeah, I, I recognize the music. Battle Toads are back! They're back! Rash, one of the characters in Killer Instinct. Pimple. And Nick. The OG Falso the back. Oh yeah. Then it's gonna be as difficult as uh, it's always been. Three player co-op. Okay. I'm playing Turbo Tunnel. <laughs> oh. Oh, Turbo Tunnel, one of the most infamous levels in gaming history. Introducing to you Turbo Tunnel 2.0. OH MY WORD, THEY'VE ACTUALLY GONE AND DONE IT! THEY'VE ONLY GONE AND DONE TURBO TUNNEL 2.0! OH MY WORD! OH MY WORD, THAT IS BRILLIANT! THE LEGEND OF RIGHT! OKAY! Okay, that's, that's definitely a unique art style for a game. I'll give it that. That is a very unique art style. <laughs> Things seem to think this game is going to keep me busy for a while. Nothing. 2020, okay. RPG time, the legend of rights, okay. Coming in 2020. Mixer, what happened to Mixer? What happened to the Mixer stream? It's working fine on my end. Alright, I see. Fine. There you go. So now for the ID independent Xbox lineup. <laughs> that was totally accurate battle simulator. <laughs> what? Well, Tabs totally accurate battle simulator. I just love the title already. It's been... Blazing Chrome, eh? Okay. Felix the Reaper. A romantic comedy game about, life, about the life of death. <laughs> Supermarket Shriek! Oh my word, I'm looking forward to that one. Oh my god, they've actually got a Lord of the Rings card game! What's it called? Uh... I would imagine it's just Lord of the Rings card game, I don't know. Remind me to start playing more independent games. Head of Xbox Partnerships, Sarah. Freezer. Independent gamers have Any never been stronger. Of the light, Freezer. What you have to understand is that indie developers are the light blood of the gaming industry. So, so like I say, like I said, remind me to play more of these independent games because I definitely need to get more indie games into my top ten games of the year rather than relying on the big AAA releases. Find and play the games that you love through creation. Curation and discovery. The ultimate expression of that passion is Xbox Game Pass. My team travels the globe 
And as this is happening, guys, Xbox Game Pass has nearly 200 games in its library. You can discover your next favorite game. Mind-blowing experiences, epic adventures, and iconic characters, all for you to explore. It has been awesome to see the record-breaking success developers have had in Xbox Game Pass, introducing their games to new players and creating lifelong fans. Since launch, we have tripled the number of partners in Game Pass, adding more games to more genres, platformers, RPG, adventure, sports, puzzles, and more every single month. And of course, every Xbox Game Studios title you see today will premiere in Game Pass day one. But one of those Xbox Game Pass launches, I'm gonna be buying. Coming to Xbox Game Pass on console today, including Batman Arkham Knight, Metro Exodus, Nice. <laughs> Hollow Knight. Okay. Woohoo! Borderlands on Xbox Game Pass to get us ready for Borderlands Three. The glorious PC Master Race. Last month, we announced Xbox Game Pass for PC. There you go, folks. Today, the Game Pass journey on PC begins. Now, PC players can discover their next favorite game with Xbox Game Pass. We have curated over 100 games just for PC, including favorites like Emperor Rome and Football Manager 2019. If that's not an excuse to get Game Pass for PC, folks, I don't know what is. For the first oh wait, time Xbox is called Platform now. <laughs> reach the entire Master Chief Collection. Ta freaking boom! Give us a release date! Give us a release date! Launches in open beta today. There you go, James! Whenever you're ready. Game Pass for PC, the beta is today! Like I say, James, if that's not an excuse to get Game Pass, I don't know what is. Gears 5 is going to be one of the titles. Nice! And Halo Reach. Our survival evolved. Prey, okay. This, Prey is a pretty difficult game, I'll give it that. Wolfenstein! The new Colossus! Yeah, like I say, Wolfenstein! Ten dollars a month, so that'll, that'll still be seven ninety nine over here. For PC is here now. Try it out by downloading the all-new Xbox app on Windows. And... I did notice the Xbox app on PC did get updated recently. Game Pass Ultimate. Okay. I did report on this on my podcast. You get everything. Xbox Game Pass for console with over 100 great games. Mm -hmm. Xbox Live Gold, an unrivaled gaming community. And now, Xbox Game Pass for PC at no additional charge. Is it coming to the UK? There you freaking go! <laughs> now go discover your next favorite game. World premiere. 
Thank you, Sarah Bond. Okay. Another Xbox Game Studio exclusive. So what's it gonna be? Satellite data and Azure AI. Wow. Okay, visually it looks great already. Oh my word, that looks so realistic! Is that Monaco? Or, or is it New York? Wait. Yep, that's Monaco. Wait, 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 wait. New York. Wait a minute. F wait, hang on. Microsoft Flight Simulator? Probably, yes. Oh my word! Oh my word, Dubai! That looks amazing. Oh. I've never actually tried any of the Flight Simulator games growing up. What? I've never actually tried the um, Flight Simulator games growing up. I see. Oh my god, that looks so good. It looks amazing. <laughs> and you can play it on Game Pass at launch. By the well. way, Fraser. Yeah. Fun fact for you. Go ahead. Did you know the flight sim the um, flight simulator game? It is um, flight simulator. Oh my god, flight simulator on on Xbox. <laughs> yes, but Fraser. I don't believe we've had a flight simulator game on Xbox before. It's only been on PC. You're right, but then again, Fraser. Fun fact. Go ahead. Before you, before I was rudely interrupted. Well, in the grand scheme, it was justified because I didn't know it was going to be flight simulator. Oh. It was an age of empires. <laughs> this better be definitive edition. Holy shit! Yeah! And I just thought they'd have kept these for the PC gaming show. The I last cons, you got a Take my money now! The last cons, James, you've got a brand new campaign! Holy shit! <laughs> this fall. Wow! Oh my god! Razors. That looks so freaking good! Welcome to beautiful Colorado! <laughs> what is with the music for this game? Oh my word! It looks ridiculously brilliant! Brother, <laughs> it looks brilliant! I can't believe what I just saw! Yeah, I know! But this looks ridiculous and brilliant! <laughs> new people! Make new friends! Colorado has colorful characters and friendly Oh, poor Oh, I see! So, post-apocalyptic... Oh, I see! So, it's post, post apocalyptic Wasteland again! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! I forgot Bethesda, the wonderful games back! So, don't be shy! Colorado's waiting for you! First round's on me, uh, first round's on, on you! <laughs> Wasteland 3! Okay, what happened to the first two? <sighs> yes, I told you! That, is, that looks brilliant! I'm gonna check that game out when it comes out. Fraser, Fraser. Man booting! <laughs> <laughs> that has got to be the most hilarious name I've heard for anyone. It's fantastic to see some of these studios already. Oh, it looks like people are trying to get Xbox Game Pass Ultimate already, but um, probably server overload and the servers can't handle the load. Freezer! Can I swear here? Permission granted. 
comes Fraser, 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 what happened? What happened to the stream? What happened to my PC? We lost power! No shit! <laughs> oh, I'm always gonna, I'm always gonna enjoy our Gears of War playthroughs. Double Fine Productions. Double Fine? What the heck? Double Fine? Wait a minute, Psychonauts! Double Fine has been Psychonauts is coming to Game Pass. What? Psychonauts is gonna come into Game Pass. Games like Psychonauts. Double Brutal Legend and Broken Age. Yeah! To Double Fine joining Xbox and seeing. Wow. Oh, Double Fine Studio created Brutal Legend and Psychonauts. And president of Double um, um, speaking of, um, Brutal Legend. Did you see for the creator of Borderlands? And Psychonauts. You only said Borderlands there. Fraser, Fraser. As I was saying, um, speaking of personal legends, I actually have a, I actually have a spare copy of personal legend. Oh, that would be much appreciated next time I see you. Matt, I don't know what you've heard, but I'm a team player. Whatever you need from Double Fine, we'll make for you. Uh, hey, Almost, we just have to make sure it works, though. So. What? We just have to make sure it works. <laughs> Fraser, I've tested the deck. Because I've seen how bad your disc can get, James. <laughs> it's it's never left its case. I've rewired ah, okay. got it on digital. Right, okay. Okay. I'll do the cycle more seriously! My name? Is Raz, and today is my first official day on the job. <laughs> you know what? I am pretty mad. Rasputin, I'm on him. That's that's basically cycle bolts in a nutshell. And due to how old I was at the time, I never played cycle bolts. But now I'm now I'm looking forward to playing it before the sequel. You know what? I even have Psychonauts for PC. How did you manage that? Toss him! Oh, of course! So, I can review Psychonauts if you. I say re I say review it before Cyber Mortz 2 comes out. To build a little bit of hype. Uh, I don't know. I really don't know. Oh goody. More Star Wars. Lego Star Wars to be exact! Lego Star Wars the Lego Star Wars Remastered. No, this is going to include. This is going to include episodes seven, eight, and nine. Call it. All nine films. The Skywalker Saga. The Lego games have always been brilliant. Okay, we've got to wait till next year, but oh my word, the entire Skywalker Saga as Lego. How good are I going to be? You know what? I actually have all the LEGO games. Really? LEGO Star Wars, LEGO Harry Potter... LEGO Lord of the Rings? Yes! But, uh, but... Then again, it's been pulled from digital stores. After all... Ah, uh, yeah, because licensing. Yes, and also, most importantly, you know what they say? Why just not suddenly walk into Mordor? <laughs> that is actually an achievement in like the Lord of the Rings! Yes, I know. <laughs> what is most simply, folks, for simply walking into Mordor? Lego have all. The Lego games have always been very creative with their achievements. So. But anyway, here we are, DVD. 
Come on. Is it going to be a new season or is it going to be a completely new game? Probably it's going to be a story mode for new stories for fighters. That would be pretty cool. Or, or DLC for Jump Force. Dragon Ball King, Dra Dragon Ball Game Project Z. Early 2020. Okay. Okay. World. Um, small question. Uh, small thing. Uh, Vegeta, what does the Scouter say about the Microsoft's awesomeness level at this conference? And and term. That's what I thought. Of conference, I would say infinite minus. As um, as Donald Schwarzenegger would say, I said Microsoft, dumbass. Yes, I know. I know because. But Knocker. It's me. This has happened before. What are you talking about? What's going on? Someone is coming. He's going to hurt us. He says you killed your father. This looks intriguing. Why are you doing this? Quantum break. No. no. It, it won't be quantum break. No, I, 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 I didn't have it doesn't, it, to do. It doesn't have the. It doesn't have the same. Knock on that door. Help me. It doesn't have the same visuals as um, Quantum Break. Police, open up. That's him. Did you call the police? We have a warrant. Please open the door. Oh they boy. Do anything. We're here to help. Don't listen to him. I'm your only chance. Open the door right now. Uh oh. I love you. You have to believe me. Stop. No. You're under arrest. No. Hey. <laughs> Wow. You're home. What are you doing? Are you okay? <laughs> okay. Twelve minutes. Trapped in a time loop? Okay, that's a very interesting concept. Uh-huh. Way to the woods. Okay. All the lights will guide you home. Oh my word, that is so adorable. Is it just me, or is it looking very similar to Super Lucky's tail? Mm, I don't... Uh, again, not the same visual style. Is it wrong to suggest I'm getting some Bambi vibes here? Oh, it's gear time, baby! Oh 
I guess it, it, it's gears. It's gears. Yes, I know. Whoa! No freaking way. Remember the there should be another game coming out. Remember the locust thing yeah. in Gears 4? Yeah. Locust symbol. Boom, there it is! Yep, I know. Bound by blood. Oh my word, her mother's the locust queen? Please welcome Rod Ferguson. What if her what if her mother is the new locust queen? Right, I see. Unless she becomes the locust queen at the end of Gears 5. Gears 5 is releasing on September 10th. September 10th! Woohoo! And if you want to play Yo, calm down! <laughs> Ultimate Edition or membership in the newly announced Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. Again, Mixer? You freeze again? You freeze the stream again? Are you joking? You want to push the envelope by doing new things I believe they said you can play the Ultimate Edition with Game Pass Ultimate. In July, join us for our versus multiplayer tech test where you'll be one of the first to play our all new competitive game type arcade in august tech test in other words is basically a beta and see how character abilities can turn the tide on the horde mode from august 19th okay in september we return to the biggest gears campaign ever where we'll explore more of kate harrowing journey and celebrate our launch on september 10th but what are we talking about today today it's a brand new way to fight the swarm in escape you play as one of three hive busters. You and your squad infiltrate the hive. Okay, so these are new, so these are new multiplayer modes. Okay. Because we all know the best defense is you know what? Offense, right, so how to use everything you love about gears turned up to eleven. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh my word, Pyro. We've got an awesome entrance on our hands here. Oh, it's frozen again. Yep. Twitch it is. Oh my word, underneath the stage, what in the world? <laughs> to be one of the coolest setups I've ever seen! Yeah, no. They attacked. You lost everything. What is this? It's Gears 5! Yes, I know. This is underneath the actual stage! I know. It's an invasion. Thirty seconds to it restarted the locust. You blithering fool. That's a lambent. Freaking crazy train. What? That's freaking crazy train in the background. Oh no, it's sampling crazy train, even better! Is that meant to be like, is that meant to be a variation on the Lancer or something? Hey, hey, hey. 
Oh my word, that is such a cool mic he's got! That is such a cool mic he's got! That's what oh, we yeah, saw to the locust, that is killing them! I know! Fraser, that, that's Lambert, not locust. Ah! Ah, there's the answer! Back in all its glory! So that's the new game mode. What? Escape, that's the, that's the name of the new game type. Oh! You can actually build your own?! Oh my god, that is so cool! Fraser! AJ Styles and Tyler Breeze. All my words. Xavier Woods, AJ Styles, Tyler Breeze, all from the WWE. They're going to be trying this out. All my words. This is going to be awesome. So good luck out running the swarm, and we'll see you on the leaderboard. Oh, and for anyone who pre orders or plays within the first week, we've got something special just for you. Ooh. What do you have? What do you have? Here's Tartex. No, I think it was so I think it's something else. I'm telling you, it's Gears Tartex. Who needs a dark face character pack? <gasps> okay, Terminator with Lanza equals Pretty bloody terrifying! That is Terminator 2, I think. No, that's, that's the new Terminator film coming out. Ah, uh, I see. Like I said, Terminator plus Lanza equals very bloody terrifying! Here we go. Oh, it's the Another Elite Controller. Another Xbox controller? It's a, it's, Are you kidding me? It's the Elite Controller. It's an update on it. Oh! Adjustable tension thumbsticks! Trigger grips and redesigned bumpers. Shorter head trigger locks. Oh my word, for more. Oh my word. Internal rechargeable battery with a charging dock. 40 hours of charge! <laughs> nice! Yeah, how much is that? How, about, how much is that gonna Yeah, how much is that gonna set us back? Do you have a quick Well let's put it this way, James. Let's put it this way, James. This will be worth it because you don't have to worry about wasting money on batteries. When my father saved my life, he told me never forget who I am, where I come from. Dying light too. But in okay. this place, nobody even wants to know my name. Getting attached is dead. Oh, because when darkness comes, I might be gone. society apart, but I won't let it turn me into an animal. Staying alive became the essence well, back of the to five, James. life must be more than just since we, did, since we did a playthrough of the previous five gears games. Every day the disease I'm including Dark in this and make us forget. Should we do yeah. should we not play through Gears 5 on my channel? 
I know it's not exactly family friendly content, but... And I am infected. What? Should we do a playthrough of Gears 5 on my channel? Um, yes, but then again... I know it's not exactly family friendly, but... I do understand that, but then, but then again, you do realise it's probably going to be about 50, 60 quid, right? James, why do you think I've got Game Pass? It is an Xbox exclusive title, it is going to be available on Xbox on launch with Game Pass. Ah, this is more my cup of tea. Full of the Horizon 4. What is wrong? Go for one thing. Lego in Full the Horizon 4? Lego in Full the Horizon 4? Are you kidding me? <laughs> well, just when I thought the game well, couldn't get any better. Well, if that's the case, there's one song I'm gonna play right now. Did you see Wait a minute, I just saw that, I just saw the last, the house that Emmett built in, uh, Lego Movie 2. Yes. And there is the Lego Movie, everything is awesome! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh my word! Uh, why did you... Why the hell did you do this? Why turn June 13th, that's when the expansion's available! Please welcome. June 13th? That's when you... That... That's your... That's this Thursday coming! Combine McLaren's passion for design with about half a million of LEGO's legendary bricks. That's going be interesting. They built a McLaren there. out of LEGO! Champions McLaren Senna. Combine the beauty and freedom of Horizon with the playful fun of LEGO, you get the Forza Horizon 4 LEGO Speed Champions expansion. You will drive this Senna and more LEGO Speed Champions cars in an entirely new world, packed with inventive new challenges, new areas to explore, and loads of bricks to smash. The Forza Horizon for Lego Speed Champions expansion launches. So how much? So how much do you think it's gonna cost? Probably somewhere in the region of about fifteen quid. But oh my god, that is so cool! Lego in Forza Horizon 4. I never thought I'd see the day. Lego in Forza. Oh. Here's Paul. Oh, this is hilarious! <laughs> Pre-register now! Thank- Oh, it's a mobile game! Thank you very much! I'll have a taste of that action! You know those pop- You know those pop vinyls? That's what this is! <laughs> Oh my word, this looks brilliant! I start getting wrecked. <laughs> With pop vinyls! Oh, pre reg Oh, we can't pre-order- We can't pre-register for it just yet. Okay! But, I'm looking forward to that coming out! Ooh, State of Decay 2 Heartland! So that'll be the new expansion for uh, State of Decay 2. I tried the State of Decay games, and to be honest, they're not that great. Yeah, no, but that's they're just, pretty much. But that's just me. But for that rip off. Find a hero I've never met. Yeah, but, but like I say, that's just me. There might be people out there that enjoy it, but sadly, I'm not one of those. The last place he was seen. Yes, I know. Was in Trumbull Valley. <clears throat> I've only heard 
whispers. I've only heard legend. Of unseen horrors. Here, we are the many. Here, we can become stronger. For so long, I was just surviving. Now people are counting on me. This is where my story could end. This is where my story could begin. I thought we had seen everything. We ain't seen nothing yet. So two stories in this expansion, okay. And people are already talking positive about this uh, LEGO expansion, and it's not even out yet! SEGA! For the very first time... Japan's greatest online RPG... PSO! Fantastic... Yup. Fantasy Star Online? Comes to the West at last! Fantasy Star Online. Oh, online action combat with crossplay. So you could play it on PC and I can play it on my Xbox. I don't know. If I decide to get it, of course. Well, if we decide to get it. Yes, and most importantly, if I... If I can get this PC, I might upgrade it. All free to play! It's a free to play game, okay! I think. I do understand that, man, but, you know... I seriously need a faster processor. You can turn. You should be able to. Turn, you should be able to turn the settings down and still be able to play it. Try it on see if these didn't end well. Hmm. Fantasy Star Online 2. Spring 2020. You've got time to save up for a new processor, James. Those of you who have played Fantasy Star know that this game had influenced many of the most popular Heard games. by Jure. Yeah. So with mm, great cloud. Time, we welcome Sega back to our stage. SEGA! On Xbox. That Sega jingle is always going to be iconic. As we said, our goal on Team Xbox is to bring you the world's best games. Meeting with developers, playing their games, but like I say, Spring 2020, you've game. got time to save up for a new processor. My job. Back at E3 2017, when I first met with the creators of this next game, they shared their ambition to bring their massively popular game with its passionate... Uh, I do understand that. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. PC Legend comes to Xbox One in 2020. Entire world. I'm happy to announce our partnership with the legendary team at Smilegate. Their approach to game design demonstrates sheer creativity. Can't say the name rings any bells. Next year, you'll discover the newest entry in this landmark franchise. On console, for the very first time, only on Xbox. This is Crossfire X. Crossfire, okay. I'm trying to think about, I have actually heard that game before. I, I've heard the name before. Crossfire? PC Legend? It's Phil! Phil! James, 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 hold up, hold up. This is obviously something that neither of us have come across before. This is something we've never come across before. A franchise we've not come across before. You know, I've... I've been a PC gamer since Windows 95. 
And that's, and that's nearly 25, that's like 25 years, folks. So therefore, I should have known a bit about that. And yet, somehow this, this, somehow this slipped past our radar. But you've got to admit, it looks fantastic. It is. How did this manage to slip past our radar for so long? Unless, of course, unless, of course, it came to DOS. Highly unlikely. Highly unlikely it would have started with DOS. Actually, I'm gonna check when this series started. Crossfire series. World premiere. Bandai Namco. Wait a minute. What? Bandai Namco, it, it, this might be a new fighting game, or it might be something else entirely. Must be some kind of RPG. Everything we knew is truth was a lie. Now is not the time to be cracking portal jokes. Break free. It is it it is an RPG. But that's not the title. That is not the title. Tales of Arise. Next year, okay. Twenty twenty. I have noticed a lot of these games are coming out next year. Fraser, this is E3. 2K Gearbox Software, it's Borderlands! Here we go! It's Borderlands, baby! I'm pretty sure I've got the first Borderlands game on my Xbox. It's, yeah, it's Borderlands 3. <laughs> what? Oh my word. Okay. I think it's safe to say I might have a contender for Game of the Year 2019 based on this. Yep! But I've got to play the other games first. I've only got another, I've only got three games to go through, so that shouldn't be too difficult. And the Handsome Collection is on Xbox Game Pass now. Seriously, no backwards compatibility news. I'm pretty sure the first Borderlands game is backwards compatible. I'm pretty sure it was part of Games of Gold at one point. Yes, I know, but then again, but then again, 
Oh, stop I was asking. Scott September 13th. That's when it comes out. But then again, it but makes wait, me think there's more. The Hanson Collection includes all the DLC. <laughs> Oh, we've got we've got a new Borderlands 2 adventure set in the siege for Borderlands 3. Okay. Okay. Fair play, Microsoft. Fair play. World premiere. But I really wish Borderlands actually had legacy stick layout. I'm sure they'll have that for Borderlands 3. Better. Hidetaka Miyazaki. George R. R. Martin, wait a minute, Game of Thrones? Now, I saw an article recently that there was something from, from software that was going to involve Game of Thrones. From Software are the makers of Dark Souls. Yes, but George R. R. Martin wrote Game of wrote um, the book series A Song of Ice and Fire, which inspired the TV series Game of Thrones. The Elden Ring. Oh, Elden Ring. But this is definitely not Game of Thrones. This is something else entirely. Probably is going to be a Game of Thrones esque expansion to Dark Souls 3. I or don't even think Dark I Souls don't 4. Don't tell me you don't see it. I don't think it will be Dark Souls. It wouldn't be Dark Souls 4 if it had George R. R. If it has George R. R. Martin involved, but it's not George R. R. Martin involved, so I don't think it will be Dark Souls 4. But what? else could it be? It will be Bloodborne 2 because that's a, because Bloodborne's a Sony exclusive. So if it's not Dark Souls, they've had to kill they've got to kill Shadows Die twice, which came out earlier this year. Elden Ring, so that's what it is. Probably it's gonna be another Souls S games. That wouldn't surprise me at this point. It is! I mean Developed by From Software. Yeah. Please welcome back, Phil Spencer. From Software normally prides themselves on um, hard difficulty games. And a and a mount and numerous mountains of broken controllers. Right now. Just today we showed. Here we go, Phil Spencer. Right. We are now experiencing an unmatched expansion of creativity on Xbox. Gaming for you means connecting all of these creators to all of you. Last fall, we announced our ambition to empower everyone everywhere to play by bringing Xbox to the cloud. We will do this in two ways, through Project X Cloud and through console streaming. Two months ago, we connected all Xbox developers to Project X Cloud. Okay. Today, we invite those of you here at E3 for our first public hands-on of Project X Cloud. Nice. To experience the freedom to play right here at the show. And you'll have two ways to stream. There's a new platform feature. Console streaming. It turns your Xbox One into your own personal and free xCloud server. Okay, that's pretty cool. Whether you're using a console in our data center or your console at home, this October, you'll be able to use our hybrid gaming cloud to play your games wherever you go. Nice. Where you play is now entirely your choice. You decide. So let's talk about our next console. Oh, here we go! For us, the 
console is vital and central to our experience. We heard you. A console should be designed and built and optimized for one thing and one thing only, gaming. So the same team that created the world's most powerful console, Xbox One, one X, and innovated its groundbreaking processor and the Elite Controller. The same team that engineered the world-class compatibility of today's Xbox One consoles. The same team that set the bar for live gaming services with, with Xbox, Xbox Live. This same team set out on a new mission. To create the future of gaming for you. When we think about the future of gaming... Okay. It's Are we going to get the name of the console? It's not just console. It's not just mobile. It's really all of the above. Xbox is all about choice. We're investing in technology all throughout the game stack. The games you want with the people you want on the devices that you want. And for us, that starts with our next generation console. We don't want to build just another console. We truly want it to be transformative. More immersive. Probably it's going to be an iteration of Xbox One. Make it easier for people to get into the game, to stay in the game. One of the things that gamers and developers are incredibly excited about is reducing load times. I'm an RPG gamer, and so, like, loading screens are a thing. You're sitting there in the fake elevator because you know that the game's loading in the background. This is just an elevator ride forever. That's our goal with gaming, is that you don't have those pauses. This generation is going to be a bigger leap than any generation we've done before. So this is next gen. Here we go. Generation console is our custom design processor, leveraging the latest Zen 2 and Navi technology from our partners at AMD. From a pure processing perspective, this is four times more powerful than the Xbox One X. We're leveraging high bandwidth GDDR6 to ensure that we're getting the best performance possible. It's going to usher in resolution and frame rates that we've never seen before. Like, never seen before. We're looking at frame rates up to 120 frames per second. <laughs> Fresh rate. Next what? 120 frames per second! For the first time ever. What I'm personally most excited about is the SSD. We've created a new generation of SSDs. We're actually using the SSD as virtual RAM. We're seeing more than 40 times performance increases over the current generation. Solid state and drive. SSD and the solid state drive are really what gives you what a new experience. Now we can take all of that. SSD, solid state drive. So we can actually generate more life in that world. Fully a two we terabyte a minimum. Way so that then you're fully experiencing what the game developer wants you to experience. When you can move through worlds without waiting for screens. I don't know. That speed, that performance. That really wouldn't surprise me at this point. This is the most immersive console experience ever. What we really want to do is give developers the power to build the game they've always envisioned. We have hundreds of people across both our first party studios as well as our third party studios working on those next generation experiences today. It's an amazing commitment to content at Xbox Game Studios. 13 studios, seven in the last year. That's a big family. At 343, for us, it's always about more seamless worlds with the next generation. We can bring the world to life in a way we've never experienced Halo before. So Halo's going to be on this next-gen console, probably a launch title. Seen them before. This console yeah, no. is especially awesome for Game Pass members. With the faster load times, you're going to be able to experience all the games within just a snap of your finger. And it's most likely, it's most likely going to cost more than one X. In a way that we never were able to before. Oh. This isn't just that wouldn't console. surprise me, James. The future of gaming. Your games that wouldn't surprise me. Progression, your accessories, your console gaming experience with Xbox, it all comes forward with Scarlet. It eats monsters for breakfast. Holiday 2020. So we've got we've got over a year to save up for this. And highest performing console we've ever designed. Built for creators to unleash their bold Project Scarlet Winger was optimized for players to enjoy the ultimate. So we don't have an official name for it yet. Anywhere. Immersive experiences begin. Initially, Project X Cloud, and now Pro is now Project Scarlet. Itself. Together with our partners at AMD, we have.
co-engineered and custom designed a state-of-the-art processor for Project Scarlet. Power you could see defined previous generations. Power and performance you can see in and probably it's going to be another iteration for the um, Xbox One. When we talk about freedom to play, when we talk James, about this is a next gen play, console. When we talk about streaming your games, Project Scarlet and all of its power and all of its performance is the foundation of our future in console and the formation of our future in cloud. We launched Xbox 18 years ago with a game reviewers called the definitive reason to own an Xbox. Well, because humanity was... Oh, we're going to finish with Halo. Next holiday, we will launch Project Scarlet with Halo. Halo Infinite. I called it. Halo Infinite is going to be a launch title. That makes two of us. Ooh. Where's our main man? Where's the chief? Where's the chief? Again, where's the chief? Cells are fried. Almost shut down. Triggering survival mode. I'm going to try to override it. Okay. You mean he's gonna step inside the. I hope you're ready. Please don't die. Please. Don't. Die. The chief is back. We're going home. <laughs> oh, welcome back, Chief. I rerouted what little power I had into your suit. 
Looks like there's a problem with the servos in your hands. Stay calm. You've been out there a while. I know I saw something in here to check your armor's diagnostics. Cortana. You're not. Status report. Status report? What? There's something you need to see, Chief. Okay. Those doors are just big enough for him to fit through without Lost. bending down. Lost everything. There's nothing left for us here. I don't think for here is. Ooh boy! No, 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 not then! Not again! We need to run! That's a halo ring! Yep! And it went kaboom! Get ready. Permissions. How I've missed hearing that iconic theme. How I've missed hearing that iconic theme. I chose you because you were special. Right. So there we are, that's it. That's the end of the conference. Just the show reel at the end. Wow. Again. Microsoft didn't disappoint. Oh, man. I managed to get one of my predictions right and release a release date for Ori in the Blind Forest. I wasn't anticipating Lego for Falls of Horizon 4. Uh, Fraser? Uh, Fraser? Are you sure it's not Ori in the Wall of the Wisps? I knew what I meant. I knew what I meant. Battletoads back. Uh, mercifully, little to no involvement from EA. Well, RIP. Well, RIP Xbox One. <laughs> We'll still be able to play all our Xbox games on Project Scarlet. So, what would you say your highlights of the conference was? Age of Empires 2, the third edition. Gotta be uh, Age of Empires 2 to Defender uh, Edition. Why am I not surprised? I mean, obviously for me, apart from Ori and the Will of the Wisps, I would have to say Lego in Forza Horizon 4. Who would have thought that combination would work so well? Well, Hot Wheels, well, um, Hot Wheels actually works well for There it is! It's on my dashboard right now. Join Xbox Game Pass Ultimate for one pound. So, how much? So, how long is it for? A month? A week? That, I believe the first month for Ultimate will just be a pound. And then it will go up to its regular price after that. But what its regular price is, I'm going to check that out. And we'll take it from there.
But anyway, James, thanks very much for joining me for the reactions to the Microsoft conference of E3. Not a problem, man. And I'll, uh, I'll catch you later. Yep. By the way, sorry I just not been able to go around, but again, it's know, fine. It's fine. Been... It's fine because, because, because of the time, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Yes, and the, um, and the circumstances as well. Of course. But anyway, I'll, anyway, I'll catch you again. I'll catch you again soon. See ya. Game Pass Ultimate, it's right there. Right on my Xbox dashboard right now. Let's go for it. Time to get an upgrade. There you go. Upgrade to Ultimate. Ten ninety nine a month. That's only an extra three quid. <laughs> Ten ninety nine a month. Brilliant. Brilliant. And there it is. Xbox Live Gold, Xbox Game Pass Console, Xbox Game Pass PC. I can play Football Manager now. Woohoo! And Gears 5 Ultimate Edition. No going back now. There's the upgrade. Do nicely. <laughs> I was really hoping this would happen, and would you believe it? Absolutely. I mean, that's brilliant. So, yeah. There we go, folks. Hope you enjoyed uh, our reactions to Microsoft. If you did, hit the thumbs up. And if you want to be baptized and following this channel, hit the subscribe button down at the bottom. Click the bell to join the notification and notification squad so you don't miss anything I do on this channel. So, I've got my predictions and Google Stadia reactions at the top, and on the bottom, my dedicated E3 playlist. Got Bethesda coming up next, so stay tuned for that. Until then, I'll see you guys later. Bye for now.